Good morning and welcome back. You know, when you think of fall, you might think of some warm coffee, Halloween movies, crisp air, pumpkin spice, and everything nice. Well, apparently DFW is thinking about something else, and that's croissants. Joining us to talk more about that and this trending pastry deal is Stephanie Allman, Mary from Culture Map. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning, Cleo. Great to be here, even if it doesn't quite feel like fall today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Glad to have you here. So, okay, so we're going to start with this. Why are pastries and croissants gaining this sudden popularity? Well, DFW is giving Paris a run for its money right now. Um, at Culture Map, we have been reporting on new bakeries really since the pandemic. After a long no carb era, people have decided it's okay to eat bread again. Uh, we have come a long way really in the past decade when great croissants were really hard to find here. And in that time, our local tastes have gotten more worldly too, you might say. Mm, okay, if you say so. Now, how have uh, North Texas bakeries up their game to meet this craving? Well, for purists, the pinnacle is still the plain croissant. It's really uh, a test of the bakery's skills. Can they achieve that crisp, delicate shell and the Ooh. moist, buttery center with the pockets of air? But the most notable thing about this new craze is the variety of flavors and spin-offs that go beyond the classics. Like the one you're showing here is La Casita Bake Shop, an award-winning bakery in Richardson, is known for this Cruffin. It is a muffin shaped croissant. And that's just one example of all these new spinoffs we're seeing. Now, I guess what's the hottest trend in these kinds of pastries? Well, it's called the Supreme. Now, this is really cool. It's a twist on the croissant that uses the same layered laminated dough, but it's formed like a round disc or slice. Ooh. It's like a combination of a croissant and a cinnamon roll. When you crack the wheel open, it has a rich, creamy filling like lemon or chocolate, and they're often decorated with icing or fruit. They're really pretty. Now, this was a national trend that started, of course, in New York City uh, in 2022, it went crazy on social Social media. It hit Dallas uh, this past June when a North Dallas bakery called La Rev introduced them here. Others that are doing them now include a, a place called LA 57 at the Dallas Farmers Market. Mm -hmm. And not to leave Fort Worth out, a, a deli called Bodega has them on the weekends in Fort Worth. Ooh, okay. Is there any other factors that have maybe helped DFW's croissant scene? Yes, so the influx of Asian-owned uh, European-style bakeries, surprisingly, um, are, they're popping up all over the place, some in people's neighborhoods that they might recognize. 85 Degrees C uh, Mozart Bakery and a place called Paris Baguette, which is opening a bunch of locations, including recent ones in Grand Prairie and Arlington. Mm, very cool. Now, Stephanie, I guess before we go here, are there any, I guess, places where people can find the best croissants in the Metroplex? Well, it's hard to narrow down the list, but everyone seems to have their favorites. But a few that keep popping up on the best list are uh, Carte Blanche, which is an acclaimed bakery and restaurant on Greenville Avenue. Now, they're known for their savory flavors like Tomatillo Pinwheel. Uh, Village Baking, a small mm. Dallas chain with a new location on Knox Street. San Martin Bakery in Uptown Dallas. They're known for the great pastries at bargain prices, and they're opening a new location on Beltline Road in Addison, and uh, one that everybody loves in Dallas, Bichu Bichu mm, on McKinney Bichu, Bichu. Avenue. It's known for gourmet ingredients like Valrona chocolate, and who can't get behind that? I, I'm behind it. Stephanie, Stephanie, thank you so much uh, for filling us in on this new food frenzy. I must have missed it. Well, thanks. Uh, head out and uh, have a sweet rest of the morning. I love it. All right. Thanks there, Stephanie. All right, let's talk weather. Let's get some meteorologist Maria Ruiz. Maria, I mean, I love a croissant. It's got to be soft and flaky, maybe a cheese croissant. Ooh. Do you have a favorite spot? Yeah, I actually have two favorite spots. For a savory, it was on the list, Village Baking Co. She mentioned one in Knox Henderson. They just opened one in Bishop Arts. Ooh. Uh, and they have a good... Uh, I believe it's jalapeno ham wow. uh, croissant. Oh, uh, my mouth is watering just talking about it. The other one is Magnolia Sous Le Pont, which is oh. here in Dallas, and they have an incredible 
chocolate croissant. Wow. Super flaky in the filling. It's, it's a just, name for me. So, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Feel fancy when you go there.